Hello everyone, welcome back to Ruby Studio. Today I'm here to talk about my top 12 for Wind Calls the Heart Season 12. And you might be thinking, Micah, why are you talking about Season 12 when Season 11 just ended? Well, the reason is, is because uh, the show is still fresh in my mind because it just ended a few weeks ago. So if I wait until like, I don't know, like November, then I'm going to have like forgotten or not forgotten, but like it, I'm not, it's not going to be as fresh in my mind and my theories might not be the same that they are now. Um, so like this is kind of like an immediate theories for season 12 of One Calls of the Heart. And I'm really looking forward to getting into it. Um, you know, I love this show. It's one of my favorite shows. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and jump right in. So uh, number one is I want Elizabeth and Nathan to get married. And the reason is, is because her and Jack had such a drawn out courtship. They dated for multiple seasons. It took them forever to get engaged. And then they were barely married. So like, I would say that was a pretty disappointing love story all around. Her and Lucas wasn't much better because it was just so plain and dry and I just couldn't get interested with them. So, you know, now her and Nathan, they have the opportunity to give Elizabeth that love story and to see her be married. I don't think we need to waste multiple seasons of dating and conflict and all of that to happen. I think we could just go ahead and they could get married next season. Um, would I have been fine if they got married at the end of season 11? Sure, but I understand why they didn't. But I, I, don't, I do think that season 12 needs to be their wedding. And I don't want to see a church wedding. I think um, their their relationship would do better in like a non-church setting. So whether that's the Mountie office or whether it's just in a field. And I, I, th I want it to be small. I want it to be, you know, Rosemary, Lee, Goldie, Allie, Little Jack. Um, and then like Henry, um, Abigail, if they can get her back, that would be great. And then maybe Bill officiating or Joseph. But I think Bill doing it would be kind of cool. Um, or Abigail. I mean... Really, there's so many possibilities, but I don't think it needs to be a big group of people. I think for them, a more intimate setting would be great. So, yeah, um, I also want to see more of that blended family dynamic between, you know, them, Allie, and Little Jack. I mean, season 11 ended with that door being open for so many possibilities. And I think it's good just to, like, get those started ASAP because there's so many storylines that they could do with those four. So yeah, so that was the first one with Elizabeth and Nathan. But the second one is a good storyline for Lucas. Because, you know, I went into season 11 with all these expectations that Lucas was going to get a great story. And we were going to get to learn more about his past. He was going to develop as a character and not just Elizabeth's partner. Um, well, the thing was, is that he did develop and he did become a bit edgier. But I wanted more of his backstory. We barely scratched the surface of it. We did learn a little bit about him and Jeanette, but barely as much as I wanted to. There was so much more backstory we could have uncovered. We could have really seen what they were like together. I don't know about flashbacks. Maybe that was more expensive. But, you know, all we knew is that, oh, they were toxic for each other. Okay, well, why were they toxic for each other? What did they do together? Why did they break up? There are so many unanswered questions that I think we as viewers deserve to learn more about them as a couple and just more of Lucas's past. I mean, we know some, but just not enough. Um, so I was disappointed when that was all we got in season 11 and the resort storyline was a deuce. It, it was just awful um, because we all knew it wasn't going to get built, but it wasted so much time on Lucas trying to get investors and, you know, and, and bidders. And there was just all this tension and him trying to involve Montague was a poor choice. And I don't know why he did that. And yeah, I was disappointed in all that writing. I think it could have been so much stronger if he would have just not done the resort at all or like pluck, like cut it off mid-season or something. Like there was other ways they could have written that. It was just disappointing to me. So um, in season 12, I want to see Lucas grow as a person. I want to learn more about his backstory. Um, I don't expect to see Jeanette again. And at this point, I don't think we have to. You know, I mean, I, I like the character and I like that storyline but the way they ended it off seemed they were cutting that storyline off um but yeah i want to see him be successful in the national park idea i think there's a lot of potential there um you know see him and henry grow closer and him and lee grow closer and, and a good love story for him i think i think he deserves happiness and i think in season 11 i was okay with him not having someone 
But in season 12, I think uh, uh, someone for him would be good. And whether that's Fiona or not, I don't know. Um, whether Fiona comes back, I I would like it if she does, but I don't think so, just the way they ended things off in season 11 with her character. But, you know, I could be surprised. But yeah, anyways, that's for Lucas. So moving on to Faith. So season 11 did a great job of making me like Faith a lot more. She used to be one of my least favorite characters, and she's really stepped it up this past season with her and Lily. Just, you know, her stepping into that motherly role has been so warming and soothing, and it's been great for her character. Well, moving into season 12, of course, we're going to see more of her and Lily. In fact, the little girl who plays Lily has already posted costume fittings on Instagram, and she's so cute. It's a great casting choice for that little girl. But I want to see Faith as a doctor a little bit more, maybe, you know, helping young kids who, like, have, like, medical problems. That would be cool. Um, we barely got any of her being a doctor in season 11, so a little bit more of that would be nice. I don't want that to be her only job, but, like, I do want a little more of her in that role, as well as being a mother. But, um, I would like to see more of, um, or I would like to see Tom come back and be Faith's partner, because there was so much potential there with them when he visited, and I think he could be the partner for Faith that they've been struggling to find all this time. I would love for them to get together and be in game because again so much potential there the actors had great chemistry and you know he was sweet with lily um whether they can get tom back that's a different story but i do think it's time for them to have faith settle down and have a family i mean she, she already has a daughter you know in a sense now if she can just find a good partner then you know just checking off the checking off the boxes um, so I really hope in season 12 they're going to develop on that more. Okay, so moving on to Mike and May. So I like them together. Um, they're cute. Um, and in season 12, you know, they kind of remind me of Jesse and Clara. But with, with um, them, I want to see them be happy. And obviously they're going to have challenges, you know, as every couple does. But it kind of got old, the Jesse and Clara fights in season eight. Like, I got frustrated as a viewer. I, I th Between them and Carson and Faith, just that, it was just so hard to watch. And, you know, Mike and May, they can have their challenges, but, like, I want things to be more calm for them and to see maybe more romantic dates between them. And I, I think it would be good if they just show more of them being a happy couple. Um, obviously, again challenges of course they, they need challenges for a good story but not like the constant arguing and like to the extreme of like i don't like mike getting rid of their life savings like i don't think that would happen first of all but i, I don't want that to happen i want i want them to be a sweet married couple and i really hope we're, we'll get that in season 12 and i think we will i think they've learned their mistake from jesse and clara and carson and faith okay so moving on to number Five. I want to see more of the Canfields, and we saw a decent amount of them in season um, 11, but I want more. Um, we got a good amount of Joseph in season 11, um, you know, him figuring things out with his brother, and we got some nice moments between Angela and Cooper, um, but one thing especially is I want to see more of many. Um, you know, it kind of seemed like at the beginning of the season they were setting up an arc for her to kind of be more than just like the wisdom of the town and all of that and i want them to develop on that more in season 12 whether it's she come becomes a counselor who knows there's so many endless possibilities for her um i think it would be really cool to see her step into a great role again it, it's hard for me to predict what that will be but just more for many and you know i think that's pretty much the only th thing in particular i want to see from the canfields um I mean, maybe more Joseph and his brother if, if Jacob comes back to Hope Valley to stay permanently. Probably that's not going to happen. Um, but I am, I appreciate what we've gotten from the Canfields. But definitely more of many is, is, is my one going into um, season 12. So number six, I want Bill and Molly to get together. And I don't think this is too much of an ask because it's so simple for them just to do it. Like... They hinted at it for several seasons, and then they um, just stopped. Like, they just randomly stopped it, and it was so weird to me. They introduced Madeline, 
And then that went nowhere. And then in season 11, there was nothing between Bill and Molly. And Molly barely was in it. So I, I think enough time has passed and i really hope the writers will take this opportunity and just put them together they they were so funny together um, the actors had such great chemistry um they could be such a fun couple and you know it's like uh, the writers need to pick up what they laid down several seasons ago they need to go back i want to see bill settle down and you're going to hear me saying this a lot in this video i want them to settle down and them to settle down I, I want these characters to just fall in love and have good love stories. I mean, Bill deserves one. You know, he's been so long without someone. And it's just time. And I think Molly would be a great choice for him. So that's she's definitely my first pick for a love interest for Bill. And, you know, seeing Molly have a slightly bigger role would be great, too. I mean, you know, Florence got her happy ending. I think it's Molly's turn to have her happy ending. But moving on to number seven, I want to see Henry take more of an active role. Because we saw him as Lucas's kind of right-hand man in a way, but I was expecting more from him, especially after he went through his redemption. Now, I talked about this with my mom. Maybe uh, season 11 was more of a phase season for Henry. And, and by that, I mean, maybe it was a season meant for him to like kind of like think about what he's going to do next. You know, he didn't have it all figured out, clearly. You know, he went from a big moment in his life um, and then just going back into Hope Valley, like, he's like, what is my purpose now? And he helps Lucas out. Um, but, you know, then Lucas kind of doesn't listen to him. But Henry stays by him the whole time. You know, he questions his judgment. But, you know, he stays by Lucas and supports him. So I want to see, you know, more of Henry. And, you know, if we get a new villain, seeing him, like, you know, like, support Hope Valley and, like, be bad Henry, but supporting the town. I saw a theory about that online, and I would love that, because I think the actor who plays Henry was very watered down in season 11, and there's so much more potential they could do with him, and he could really deliver the angry Henry, but doing good. And so that is one thing I want to see for season 12. Um, if they can get a lover for Henry, that would be cool. It's not something I need. Um, I, I would I would rather Bill and Molly than Henry and someone, but... For Henry, I just want to see him step up, be more involved um, in the town, um, deliver some of those acting chops that we know that Martin can give. Um, you know, if they can get Abigail back, I would love that for Henry, but I don't know if that's going to happen. So, And Abigail coming back is not on this video because I don't know if that's a possibility, so why waste my time with it? I'm only listing these 12 because I think there's a possibility they could happen. So yeah, comment down below, do you want to see Henry have a more active role? I think everyone would agree with me on here if you like Henry. Okay, so moving on to Nathan. So I want to meet Nathan's mom. We met his dad, and I don't think he's going to come back. Um, I We don't know much about his mom. So what does that mean? I don't know. I think there's kind of a mystery and a question mark there. Like, why is his mom just not talking to him why doesn't he talk to his mom um there's just a lot of questions there and if we get a wedding i would love to see nathan's mom come i would like to see elizabeth's parents come too but it's not as big of a deal to me um nathan's mom coming would be really cool i would like to see ally bond with her grandma you know elizabeth interacting with nathan's mom um you know she interacted with jack's mom she interacted with lucas's mom i think she should get to meet nathan's mom and interact with her um, and of course, just seeing more of Nathan's childhood would be a plus too. Like, what was his mom like? And we know we kind of, I think his parents, we, we found out they got back together like a couple of seasons ago. So like, how are they doing? Like, why did the mom get back together with the dad when he's a bad guy? Like, again, so many questions that could be answered if the mom came back. So, you know, I'm, I'm hoping for that in season 12. Okay, so moving on to number nine, I want to see more of Lee as mayor and we got a, a little bit in season 11, but I want to see him deal with like the problems in the town because we we didn't really get that. We just saw him kind of like helping out however he could. But like, you know, I, I think he really could have like stepped up, stepped up and like tried to take more control of the situation as mayor and like trying to keep people safe, you know, during the the all the gun and stuff at the saloon. Like why, where, what, you know, 
that's what a mayor is supposed to do. Like, what was he doing during then? I don't even remember if he was even in the saloon at that time. I'm, I think he was. Um, but, like, I think going into season 12 and, you know, the town, I hope the town will spend more time with each other and we'll get more community stuff. I want to see Lee really step up and, like, make sure Hope Valley is safe um, and more of that because I think he'll do a great job at it. And, you know, I think... Season 11 was just the beginning of his journey as mayor, but like we, he, we waited so long to see him as mayor, it was kind of disappointing to see him barely do anything. Now that Maisie Hickam's gone, I think Lee can really just be the mayor, and we can see him really shine in that role. So that, that's my hope, because we've really seen more watered-down Lee rec in recent seasons, and season 11 started to bring that back, my, my, love, my, my love for Lee's character. So... If they can continue on that, that would be great. That is what I'm hoping for for Lee in season 12. Okay, so moving on to number 10. I want to see Bill and Rosemary investigating again. Um, I don't know what they'll be investigating. I don't really care what they're investigating. Maybe it'll have something to do with Hargraves. I don't know. Um, but no, I want to see them more because they had such a great arc in season 11. And, you know, sure, they wasted, they wasted a lot of time, like, you could say, like, oh, they should have, like, discovered this, like, five episodes earlier. But I'm not really looking at that. I'm looking at them as a team. And they made a great team. And they admitted it to them in episode 12 in the finale. Like, they admitted to each other, we made a great team. So I think there's so much potential for them to investigate again. Like, they're so funny together. And um, I want to see them both take each other seriously and compare notes with each other and... There's such potential for a great dynamic there, and if they don't do more with that in season twelve, I would be very disappointed. They both shine when they're around each other. It just, it just overall a great was a great storyline for both of them. So my hope is to get more of them together in season twelve. So moving on to number eleven, I want um another villain or villains, but like more permanent villains. I don't want like one episode or two episode villains. I want real threats. And you might be thinking, like, why are you saying this, Micah? This is a feel-good show. Well, yes, it is. But the Hardy Observer, she said that she prefers the storytelling with higher stakes. And I personally agree. Like, I don't... It's not that I don't love the feel-good stuff, because I do. But it's so engaging. And that scene in the salute at the end of season 11... That was such an engaging scene. I want more of that. I don't want people in danger necessarily, but I think there's so much potential for captivating storytelling and captivating scenes and engaging scenes and intense scenes that we don't see often in this show. So I want a villain that's going to be a real threat to everyone, but also being dynamic. Like I want to see him have multiple sides to him as well. So like another Henry, not exactly the same, of course, but someone like him, so Someone that we love to hate, um, but also we can kind of understand where they're coming from. I would love to see Henry go head to head with this new villain too, if we get one. And I'm and I know I put Jeanette on here. I don't I'm not saying she should be the villain. I mean, it would be cool to see her again. But I, I think um, we just need a new villain, someone that's going to threaten the town, um, and seeing more of the town coming together to stop a villain would be great but not like a one-off villain again like i want like a villain that we can love to hate and maybe even a villain that we root for at times like maybe that that would be a plot twist like a villain that's not all bad again so many possibilities but i would love that going into season 12 so moving on to number 12 i want to see more of the community together because we did not get as much of that in season 11 as i thought we would so i think season 12 should have more of those I think The Wind Calls the Heart is at its best when we have the community aspect and we see the town come together. Um, and I definitely think that season 12, they should have more of that because it's where the show shines, so why not write more of that in it? That's just the way I see it. So whether that's, you know, I don't know, like a musical, I don't know. Again, so many possibilities. So yeah, um, that's kind of all I wanted to say about season 12. And I might think of more stuff and then maybe i'll make another video closer to when season 12 premieres but comment down below uh what your top 12 is for season 12 if you have one 
Um, again, I think season 12 has the potential to be great if the writers can do it. I like season 11. I didn't love it. Um, I liked it more than previous seasons. I would say seasons 10 and 11 I both genuinely liked. So if season 12 can do most of these things that I want, if not all of them, it could be a great season. Maybe even one of my favorites. It, it, we'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, I'm going to get off of here. So thanks everyone for listening. Let me know your thoughts or your top 12s and I will see you soon. Bye everyone.